Do you own a pet or were you thinking about owning a pet? Well, if you answered yes to either of these questions, then you must watch this episode of Dr. Dave's 411. In fact, I am positive. Uh oh. Just ignore what just happened. Okay? Pause. Pause. It will change your attitude toward your pet. All of this and a whole lot more on this episode of Dr. Dave's 411. Owning a pet is very popular in the United States. In fact, over 60% of US households own a pet. Over the last several years, pet ownership, especially dog ownership, has been associated with a decreased risk of cardiovascular disease and even death. Since most of the data on the benefits of pet ownership is on dogs, this episode of Dr. Dave's 411 is going to focus predominantly on dog owners. But don't worry, all of you cat, ferret, bird, and pet rock owners, because this episode probably applies to you also. Well, maybe not pet rock owners. So what do the scientific studies tell us about owning a dog? The largest study on dog ownership, which looked at 10 studies for a total of 3,837,000 participants with a follow-up period of 10 years revealed that dog ownership was associated with a 24% risk reduction in death compared to non-ownership. When the researchers looked at people with prior heart attacks and heart procedures, living in a home with a dog produced even more benefits in reducing their risk of dying. In fact, when we just look at death from heart disease specifically, dog ownership decreased the risk of dying by a whopping 31%. So with all of the above in fur, fur mation, I know you're all wondering, what is it about our furry friends that is so beneficial to our heart health? The first reason we need to consider is that it's possible that healthier people or those who are making the kinds of lifestyle changes that reduce heart risk are more likely to have a dog. But there's also scientific studies that support several reasons owning a dog can have potential, pe pet, potential benefits. First, studies have shown that dog owners have lower blood pressure than non-owners, probably because their pets have a calming effect on them and because dog owners tend to get more exercise. Even a simple action of petting your dog can have benefits, what some people have called the power of touch. Several studies show that blood pressure goes down when a person pets a dog. Next, owning a dog is associated with lower cholesterol and triglyceride levels. We aren't sure why, but perhaps dog owners get more exercise simply by walking their pets. In fact, studies have shown that dog owners get more exercise than non-dog owners. And we shouldn't fur forget that owning a dog can offer companionship and help decrease the feeling of loneliness. Having a furry face and a wagging tail giving you unconditional love when you come home can be the perfect antidote for loneliness. There was even a study that showed that when dog owners gaze into the eyes of their pets, they release a feel-good hormone called oxytocin, which plays a role in social bonding. And finally, dogs can have a calming effect on humans, which can help with stress management. For example, Research suggests that dog owners have less cardiac reactivity, meaning they have lower blood pressure and heart rates during times of stress, therefore decreasing the negative effects of stress on the body. Based on the above, even the American Heart Association states in their guidelines that pet ownership, particularly dog ownership, may be reasonable for reduction in cardiovascular disease risk. Okay, there you have it the 411 on pet ownership. One last joke before we go. Why are dogs terrible dancers? Because they have two left feet. Ah. Uh, okay, try uh, one more. Uh, what did the dog say when he sat on sandpaper? Rough, rough. I'll stick with cardiology. Until next time, this is Dr. Dave.